The most famous reindeer of all. Charles. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. What's up guys, it's your girl Eddie Elise and I am back with another video for those of you guys who are new here Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do and that I post So yeah, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10 We are 15 days away from not seeing each other No, I'm just kidding, I'm still gonna post, but we are 10 days in to Vlogmas, which means we have 15 days left Last night for Vlogmas Day 9, unfortunately I did not post. I had a get ready with me and Christine and guess what? The footage got deleted. I'm not talking about just the editing that I did. I'm talking about like on my memory card, <laughs> the clips got deleted. So, um, and by the time I was already editing, like I couldn't record anything else. So I just had to take the L. However, to make up for that, I'm going to go into the 26th of December. So we're going to extend it one day since I missed one day because I am, you know, true to my word, you heard? <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, I'm fresh out the shower. And we are doing a Get Ready With Me Chit Chat edition, okay? I've been, okay. I've been very, 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 I want to say active on Instagram and on my lives and stuff like that and then I put the last video that I posted was what influencers don't talk about and if you haven't seen that please make sure you are going to watch that because I really open up about some of the things that I deal with and I'm pretty sure other influencers deal with that as well and it's real life you know we are human as well but I want to elaborate some things okay I really want you guys to get in tune with yourself and what getting in tune with yourself actually means you know what I'm saying like I say this all the time and if you've been following me you would know that I say that all the time. Like, I, I'm always on some get in tune with yourself, get in tune with yourself, but I never really go into depth on what that is, right? And I use this analogy all the time, and I'm going to continue to use this analogy because for me, this is the only way it clicks in other people's head and they understand. Usually, when you gain or lose weight, it doesn't happen overnight, and... For you to like wake up and be like, what the heck, where did this come from type of thing. It happens over time and you don't notice it because you're constantly just with yourself, right? You don't notice the slow changes. So, but other people can because if I haven't, if I lost weight or if I gained weight and I haven't seen somebody in a very long time, they'll be like, oh my gosh, Eddie, you lost weight or oh my gosh, Eddie, you're gaining weight and stuff like that, right? And that's the same concept of getting in tune with yourself. Uh, first and foremost, before we even get into that analogy, getting in tune with yourself, knowing who you are as a person right and that is super important because one is just super important in general but now the day and age that we live in with social media being the biggest in our lives we need to know who we are so that we are not easily persuaded into being somebody that we are not right and I say this because I'm gonna give you a little backstory when I first got back from Miami maybe like four years ago I was the assistant manager at Foot Locker and I'm not gonna lie I was making enough money because obviously my expenses were a shit ton lower than what I was actually um, a shit ton lower than what I was making so technically I had great money at the time because I lived with my parents and I didn't have any bills, okay? So, 
I wanted a car, but I wanted this specific car, and it was the Volkswagen CC. And the only problem was they didn't make it anymore. It was discontinued, so I couldn't lease it. I would have had to finance it. And I was definitely okay with that, you know what I'm saying? But I went through hoops to get this car. And at the time, my credit wasn't up to par. Uh, my age, I was young. I was maybe like, what, 19 at the time. But I wanted to get this car. And my mom was going to co-sign for me, everything. So we went to multiple dealerships, and nothing went through. And then finally we went to this one dealership and I ended up getting the car, right? But there was a whole bunch of things leading up to that. The, dish, the original car that I wanted was in the showroom and that car had, it was white with a red interior and I was like in love with it. But they said unfortunately I wouldn't be able to get approved. They showed me another one which was a, a, a more... Um, up-to-date model and that was black with peanut butter seats I mean peanut butter interior and that one I fell more in love with right and they said I would be able to get a proof of that but that one was more expensive so I was kind of like confused but me being just so thirsty I was like oh my gosh okay cool so everything went through you know that should have been flag one like how didn't I get approved for this one in the showroom but I could get approved for this one that should have been literally red flag one but since i was so thirsty you know whatever more of the story is i drive off the lot with the car i drive off the lot i literally go into the next lot which is taco bell and when i tell you the car starts shaking i'm literally right next door like i haven't even drove this car a matter of three consecutive minutes type of thing so the car starts shaking and I'm like what the heck so my mom's like no there's something wrong with the car we have to take it back so now I'm bummed out right so I'm like whatever this was on a Saturday everything in Jersey is closed on Sunday so uh they were like oh we'll fix it and we'll have it back to you on Monday right so I'm like okay cool bet I didn't have a problem with that but then, you know, my dad started talking to me, my mom started talking to me, everybody started talking to me. I was like, well, you shouldn't really get that car because if they sold it to you like that, um, you know, that says a lot about them. And, you know, you don't want this car to give you difficulties because it's going to end up costing you more in the long run because that car was actually a foreign car. Technically, it was a German-made car, Volkswagens are German-made, and maintenance is this damn near the same as a Merce as getting a mercedes-benz and being that the car didn't have i mean the car was what am i trying to say being that the car was no longer discontinued there we go being that the car was discontinued i would have paid even more for parts you know what i'm saying because it's harder to get the parts for that specific car because they don't make it anymore. Cool. So I had some thinking to do over the weekend. And I was super bummed out. But something told me just don't get it. Although I was really, really, really bummed out. Something told me. Don't get it. Get your money back. Rip up those contracts. Call the bank. Tell them the loan, no, everything. So that's what I did. Months later, I ended up getting a better job in the city, in Manhattan. I was in Staten Island at the time. I ended up getting a better job in the city. And for that job, I, did, I wasn't even able to use my car. Not the car. I gave the, the other car back, but I had another car in general. It was a 2003 Nissan Maxima. But even with that, I wasn't even using that car because I was always in the city. Then I started school. So I was literally in the city seven days out of the seven days of the week. I had no days off for a good five months. And um, I was just so thankful. You know what I'm saying? And I was thankful. Well, damn. I don't have a car note. 
And thank God I don't have a car note because I would have been super upset if I had a car note for a car that I don't even motherfucking use, right? But fast forward to today when I think about it, I'm like, why did I really want that car? Why did I go so hard for that car? And that was God's way of telling me like, no, this is not for you. Why did I go so hard? And that was because I was doing it to flaunt. I wanted to flaunt the car. The car was a beautiful car, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to flaunt the car, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be that person in a brand new whip and all that stuff. And that's cool and all, but I wasn't doing it for me. So when I say get in tune with yourself, that's exactly what I mean. Who are you? You know, what do you actually like? And that's the first thing, getting to know yourself. And how you get to know yourself is just by taking away a lot of the distractions and giving yourself time to process things in your life. Like, okay, like for me, that car was... Why do I want to do this so bad? Why do I want this car so, 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 so bad? And being honest with yourself. And it was, oh, okay, I wanted it really to flex, technically. So, everything happens for a reason, and I ended up not getting that car. I do have a Volkswagen right now, but it's not that Volkswagen. Um, so... So yeah, the second part is also back to the analogy that I used of the gym. We are constantly as humans evolving, okay? And we have to know when to reintroduce ourselves to ourselves. What you like today is not going to be what you like in two years. You know, some of the things that you like today is not going to be what you like in two years. You know, what you liked two years ago, how the person you were two years ago is not the same person you were, I mean, you are now. And as humans, we are constantly evol evolving from just the experiences that we go through in our everyday life, whether it's good or bad, whether it's traumatic or not. Um, you know, the experiences that we endure change us a lot. And we just think, as humans, well, I'm me. You know, how can I not know me? But it's true. There's a lot of us in the world that don't know ourselves. And once you get in tune with yourself and know really what you like and who you are as a person, you become to be this unbothered person. This unbothered person. And that is the biggest flex. The biggest flex is to be unbothered. And when I tell you, because you're secured with yourself, you know what I'm saying? The things people say about you or the things people do to you, you will be unbothered because you know, that's not me. I don't care. Like, I know who I am. You are so confident in who you are because you got to know each other. You got to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why I made that video. That's kind of like what I was talking about in the video that I posted two days ago about what influencers don't talk about. That's what I've been going through, you know, with this whole entire coronavirus thing and stuff like that and just me like really trying to grind, 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 grind and always having work 24-7 on my mind. I forgot to get to know myself again. You know, there's been things that I went through and good things, bad things, traumatic things, emotional things, mental things that I went through that I didn't get a chance to stop, halt, and say, okay, Eddie, 
let's get to know you again. And it's extremely important to make time for yourself. It's extremely important to be selfish with yourself sometimes. So, and I also think for us females, it's extremely important for us to constantly be on top of ourselves and in tune with ourselves because men will be able to know when you're not in tune with yourself and they will try to take advantage of that and sometimes they will win if you don't catch it they will win and in this game you know what i mean and the goal is to not let anybody win besides yourself and god you know what i'm saying um I don't know if you guys are following along, I don't know if I'm making sense, but in my head it makes sense and I want you guys to know, especially as women, you know, men too, get in tune with yourself, but especially as women who are entrepreneurs, I'm not saying you have to be an entrepreneur to get in tune with yourself, but especially for women that are entrepreneurs, it's extremely hard for us. already and you know when we're on Instagram and we're on these social medias if we don't know ourselves we will get lost in somebody else okay we will get lost in the next celebrity the next influencer the next man so it's essential to before anything that you do To get in tune with yourself so that your business could run smoother. So that, um, just in general, you'll have a peace of mind of, okay, I'm not going to align myself with these things because that's not me anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to align myself with these type of people because that's not me anymore. And that goes into a whole other conversation where you have to be careful with the people that you have around you. You have to be careful with the people that you have around you because it is so true who you have around you plays a big part in who you become you know what i'm saying and that goes for and i want to clear something up because that goes for having people around you without their stuff together and i'm not talking about financially i'm talking about mentally it's draining um again I'm not talking about financially, I'm talking about mentally. You know, when somebody is so content with life, whether it's a friend, a relationship, or whatever, and they are 24-7 around you, they are taking energy from you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's around you is taking energy from you. You have to be mindful of those things. And even if somebody mentally has their stuff together, who they are as a person reflects on you. Not for other people, but I'm talking about it reflects on you and how you start to view things. And it's very important to protect that because it's very easy to fall into a trap where, oh, the people I'm hanging around is greedy. You know what I'm saying? And that could rub off on you. And that's a trait that you do not want. You know what I'm saying? Or, oh, the people around me like to go out all the time. And it's cool. But now I'm getting sucked into this lifestyle of going out all the time. And it's messing me up because I have businesses to run I'm not where I want to be at in life there's no reason why I should be out every single day of the week if I don't have my shit together you know what I'm saying and I'm not saying this is your case scenario but I'm saying different people be careful with who you allow around you and who is taking your energy If you align yourself with the right people, that can possibly put you 
years ahead. Years. When I tell you years, I mean years ahead. And that is a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Because... The people around you should share some of the same beliefs as you. And even if you guys don't share exactly the same belief, you guys shouldn't be polar opposites in beliefs. And when I talk about people around you, I'm not talking about acquaintances. I'm talking about the people that's literally in your circle. You have to watch and say, okay, who are you? Because at this point, I already know who I am. And even when you get to that point of, okay, I have you in my circle, I know who you are, we click, we share the same morals and principles, but in a year from now, in two years from now, when I evolve, right, when we as humans inevitably evolve and get to know each other, maybe we're not meant to, meant to be friends anymore. Maybe we're not meant to be in the same circle anymore because I realized Hey, I'm not that person that I was back when I met you or back when we were hanging out or whatever the case may be. And that right there is okay. That right there is normal. Don't ever think that that's not normal. Because it 110% is. Okay, so with that being said, as I wrap things up, It's extremely important to stay in to get in tune with yourself, but not only getting in tune with yourself, to stay in tune with yourself. You know, you never want to not know yourself. I'm telling you, come, talking from experience, guys, it is the most frustrating thing. And it's going to happen. But we want to understand, we want to have the ability to withdraw ourselves and say, hold on, I just evolved, let me, let me get in tune with myself once again. And when you finally have that concept down in your head, it's easier. Everybody's going to go through not knowing who they are eventually and periodically actually. But if you have this concept down, you already know how it's going to work. You already know, oh, okay, I need to get into it myself. It's one of those years. It's one of those months type of thing. And just stay on top of yourself. Don't let this social media thing hinder any of your views. Um, and yeah. So yeah, guys. If you like little chit-chats like this, let me know, comment in the, why can't I open this, oh, comment in the comment section that you enjoyed this, I want to know, and if you guys have any questions, um, I talked more about this on Instagram Live, and I actually saved it to my IGTV, so you could go ahead and watch that, it was actual live, so it was me interacting with people live. So I think that could benefit you guys as well. But I answer comments as well. So just comment down below what you think and your thoughts on this. You know, I'm open to other ideologies, other ideas. And let me know. Do you get in tune with yourself? And how do you get in tune with yourself? I would like to know because it's a hard thing it's easier said than done to do I promise you that but once you master it and once you know when the t right time is to all right it's a me time I need to get to know myself you baby girl will be unstoppable I promise so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed I'm gonna go get dressed and so sorry for, for not posting Vlogmas Day 9, but that was completely out of my control. And I love you guys. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Hugs.